Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful DIY uh, wig holder. So if you wanna see how I made this, keep on watching. Yeah! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm making this short video just to show you something that I've been doing for my uh, for my vessels. As you know, this is the, the size of my vessels. It's very, uh, they're very wide. They're almost four inches in diameter. Uh, they're between three and three quarters and four inches. So I don't have a wig uh, holder that works for them. I mean, I have this for my Kia that I use for my other ones. But as you can see, it's, it's way too small, you know? And then I have these other ones. The aluminum ones that everybody has, you know, again, they're too small. I mean, they're not, they're not gonna hold. So, you know, so I have to make my own. So I've been like, I've been watching uh, YouTube uh, candle makers and also on the on the different Facebook groups. And, you know, uh, I saw, I went to 1617.com. That's where I, that's where I bought uh, this, this vessel here. And the lady, uh, Vanessa, she's a very nice lady. She demonstrated how she makes candles using this. And she uh, was demonstrating a technique that I found is fabulous on how to uh, make your own uh, wick holders when you have this uh, size of a container or bigger. You know, so I'm gonna share with you guys. This is not my secret. This is something that is, is been out there on YouTube for years, but I just wanna share with you to uh, maybe some of you that are new on on, new, on the channel, uh, maybe you uh, you started making candles uh, recently. I just wanna show you something that anyone can make, you know, at home, you know, it's, it's very simple. It has to do with uh, bamboo skewers, okay? So this is something that everybody has. At home, you know, it's everybody, uh, most of you barbecue, you know, and that's, so they come in, b in different lengths. So I have a, a, a lengthy one, a very long one, which uh, I'm gonna go get them, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So they come in, in this length. Let me see how much, how long this is. I have a ruler here. Let's see how, these are, are like uh, 10 inches long. These are the ones that I use for the barbecue because you can put a lot of meat in here. Your vegetables. So the first thing that I do, guys, I'm not gonna use this one because this one I already made a few. So let me just put this one to the side. So, okay, so let's say, so I bought this one. These are uh, six inches wide. And uh, these are uh, wide enough to fit on my, for my vessel in here. But I also wanted to uh, have different, uh, different options. Okay, so this is how they come. And you know they come, they have a, a point in here. So what I do, uh, I take out the point because I don't want to be stabbed every time that I handle this. So I take a pair of pliers and I just, like a quarter of an inch, you know, and just cut, cut the points. So that way it doesn't uh, stab you once you are working with these guys. And then all you need guys is just uh, some small rubber bands for the hair that everybody has, you know, or you can buy very cheap at the supermarket or at the pharmacy. You know, these are the other round ones. So, so just take a few of them, guys. This comes in different sizes. You know, like this small. This is all you need. And then just take, it's very simple, guys. Just take any size. Just take, once you cut the tips. So now this is not uh, sharp anymore. So then you just put them together. You know, and then just wrap the rubber band around. You know, just make it tight, but not too tight. You know, it's, and then uh, don't make it too tight that you cannot move it around because you're gonna need to adjust this, okay? So let me show you. So then you take another rubber band and then you go to in, in the other side. Again, don't do it too tight because you will not be able to, uh, you will not be able to move them, you know? So this is great because now this is secure, guys. So once you put this on top of the vessel in here, so then, uh, let me show you, let me see if I have something that I can wick very fast for you. I'm gonna be wicking this, this vessel and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it, okay? So I just finished doing templates. Uh, so I took a piece of cardboard and I have a, a template that I got. Anyway, I'm gonna link it below at the Facebook group that you can get these templates, okay? And so what I did is I, I cut out the templates, I made uh, different holes. Uh, I made sure that this fits in the bottom of my vessel and the bottom of the vessel is uh, three inches. So I made the template in cardboard and you see it fits perfect in there. So this is a great time uh, time saver guys because you know when you are uh, wicking candles you need to have 
especially to sell, you have to make sure that they're very accurate. So for this candle, guys, I've been using LX12. I think they work beautifully. So let me just get them. Okay, so I'm gonna use two of these because I know I need two, two week and uh, two weeks for this size and um, for the different uh, formulations that I'm using for my candle line. So, so again, guys, this is a, a very a great time saver. Okay, so I'm gonna take my my wigs and I'm gonna put them on the like I told you on the straw. This is what I do. I find it very easy. Why a straw? Because you can pinch it and then you can just hold the the whole wig together the glue dot is really perfect okay so let me just okay so I have the wig in here I have the template in here that you can see okay and I'm just gonna follow the the template you know it's perfect in there it's on then I take the other one it's all about saving time, guys, because time is money, you know, and you know, when, when you have a, a big order, which I'm expecting, hopefully, uh, you, you need to be fast, you know, but you have to be accurate too. Um, whenever you're making candles for sale, remember, like I told you, you have to center perfectly because otherwise the candle is not good. Okay, so let me just get the other one and put it right across. This template works like a charm, guys. It's great because it, it tells you, shows you right there the position. Perfect, can you see them? You see? So that way you know that they're perfect and then you just, all you need to do guys is just press. You need to press the, uh, because you don't want the, uh, the hot wax to melt, uh, to get this loose. Okay, and then you know, just take this, comes right off. It's very easy to make guys. The position is perfect for the two weeks size. And now I could either go use the big the big size. Let me just put the, uh, the light back up. So I can either use the the big size of the wig holder, which will be perfect, or the smaller size, which will will be okay too. So whatever you prefer, okay. I'm gonna use the big size because I feel more comfortable. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use the two long ones in here and the rubber bands. I'm I'm, I'm only gonna I'm not gonna. Uh, Make them too tight. I'm I'm only gonna do four a uh, four four turns, one, two, three, and four. Okay, that's gonna keep it secure, but it's gonna be easier for you to move. Okay, because you, what you want to do is this. You wanna grab the two wigs together, open this up in here so you have a gap. Put the wigs in there. Let go, position it all the way to the top where they should go, and then just push, push the rubber band to the edge of the container uh, to make sure they don't move. And here we go. So that that's gonna apply pressure to the two wigs, and that's gonna center the, center them perfectly. Okay, this is beautiful. And here you go. This is the perfect centering device. Ta-da! I want to thank my friend Vanessa from 16, from 1617.com. And uh, I learned that uh, this technique from her. Uh, thank you. And I'm going to link the channel below because that's also the place where I got my, my vessels. Okay. And they have beautiful vessels in there. Okay. So go and visit her. Uh, but also I've seen this technique done uh, in other YouTube videos. And uh, so, so for all of you guys, all the new uh, candle makers, try using this at home. You know, it's gonna be a money saver. Also, it's what I do is I just made a lot of them in here. So hopefully, when I get big orders, I'll be able to make candles really fast. Also, don't forget, I'm gonna link the uh, the PDF for the groups uh, that I got this from. And I love making this template. I made one template with four holes, and then I made another one. If I only want to use one uh, one week for any kind of vessel, just make one with the desired diameter. Okay, guys, I hope this tip 
helps you guys um, on your candle making uh, journey. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and guys don't forget to like the videos because that's the only way that I'm going to be able to grow more. And don't forget to share my content with all your friends and family that you think uh, may like my content. And don't forget to also visit my other channel, Health and Live with me, Michael. Uh, the link is down below on the description box. Okay guys, so until the next video, take care of yourself and each other and love you. Bye! Yes!